Hi everybody, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online and thank you so much for joining me. This is our second day of doing specific exercises with weights. So if you don't already, go and grab your weights. I re recommend using some light weights. We are going to be focused today on our shoulders and our back muscles. So, um, so really listen to your body as you're doing these exercises. And today we'll be doing about eight to 10 repetitions of each exercise. I'm going to be doing three exercises for your shoulders and then three for your back as well. And we'll be alternating as we go. So before we get started, let's start with some cir circles for our shoulders. We want to sit up nice and tall. You can either keep those weights on your lap if that's safe, or you can put them on the floor. And we're just really going to warm up that back before we get into our exercises together. All right, so let's take your arms nice and wide. We'll take some deep breaths, reaching in, reaching back and breathing in, and give yourself a hug. So this next series, over the next seven days, we're going to be focusing on using weights for exercises that you can do right at home. So I've got lots of really great ones up my sleeve for the next few days. So make sure if you haven't yet that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Aim Fitness Activities in Motion, and be sure as well to click that button right below. So that way you'll get notified when I upload my next video. All right, you guys are doing awesome. Let's do one more. We're gonna reach those arms overhead and then we're gonna be lowering those arms. So reaching up, inhale and exhale down. Let's go for three more. Good. Now, if your arms are only able to go up about halfway, I know often we have uh, shoulder injuries or something holding us, uh, us back. So just listen to your body. Last one here. Good, and shake it out. All right. Good, so we're gonna get into our very first one. Um, let's start with an exercise for our back. So when we're working our back, we wanna make sure that we go nice and slow, and I do suggest uh, starting with lighter weights as well, especially if you've been exercised recently. So what we'll do is we're going to be leaning forward slightly, so we're just hinging at your hips so your back is nice and straight. We're gonna be holding onto those weights um, with a nice grip, and then we're gonna be bringing those arms down. So this one is called the reverse fly. So we're gonna keep your elbows bent, but we're gonna be lifting those arms and then bring those weights back in together. So we're lifting up, squeezing your back as you go, leaning forwards here, good. And we wanna really think about squeezing our shoulder blades back together. So I'm doing it, I'm showing you a few different options here. I'm doing this right now um, with bent elbows but if you want to extend a little bit further, you can always do that as well. Very good. So I am definitely feeling my back working. Make sure that you relax your neck as well. So you just want to be looking down at the floor. Good. And let's go for two more. And one more here. Okay, good. Let's take it back. Circle your shoulders backwards. I really like to relax all my muscles in between. Sometimes we exercise and we're all tense and thinking about what we're doing. So let's really try to relax as we're doing this. Have some fun. Okay, the next one we're going to do is for our shoulders. So let's hold on to those weights right in front and we're going to extend those arms one at a time right overhead. Breathing in and out, pressing up. Good. Awesome. And this is a good time to check in and see how do these weights that you're using, how are they feeling? Because if you feel like you could keep going and do about, you know, 25 more on each side, then you may want to go up in weight. And another thing I'll mention too is that for some of these exercises, um, you know, sometimes our shoulders are a bit stronger than our back, so you might even want to have two different weights. So you can have one a little bit lighter than the other. Good, last one here. And final one. And let's lower it down, good. Let's bring those shoulders up and down. Good job. And then we're gonna move into our next exercise for our back. So just like we did before, we're gonna be leaning forwards a little bit, uh, hinging at your hips. So watch that you're not rounding your back, but you're, you're keeping that back straight. 
and then have those arms right at your side. And then this one is called the row. So we're leaning um, as we do this, and then we're not moving our back at all. So we're really bending those elbows here, squeeze your shoulder blades back, and then lower down towards the ground. So squeezing back and slowly lowering down. All right, so breathing here, we're gonna breathe in and breathe out, squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, and now this is another one. You should feel that back working. Again, keep that back straight. And if you're not sure, put a mirror beside you so you can look in, at yourself in the mirror. Sometimes it's hard to know what, we, what we're looking like, right? All right, last one. Okay, very good. Again, let's circle back, stretching it out. Awesome. And what we'll do now is we're going to do an exercise for our shoulders. So let's bring those elbows together, uh, elbows, weights together, <laughs> elbows down, and then we're gonna be lifting those elbows, lift those weights. So let's lower down and lift. Now, something you may, may wanna watch for as well is that your elbows and shoulders are lifting the same. Often, you know, this side I find kind of goes up a little bit more than the other. So it's good to watch for that. And if you do have any shoulder issues, the alternative is to go a little bit lower. Don't lift those elbows quite as high. Okay, let's breathe in and breathe out. And actually, I'm, I'm noticing I had an injury on this side, so I'm noticing that um, it's a little bit weaker on that side. All good things to notice. One more time here. And lower it down. Awesome. Good. Let's look over your shoulder, stretching it out, relaxing your neck. Good. All right. And we're going to do another one, another one here. So, for this time, we're going to be um, doing this one for, for your back, another, another back exercise. So, have your arms at your side. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be lifting, just like you're lifting some heavy groceries. So bending your elbows and then straightening those arms down. Good, so bending your elbows wide and lowering the arms here. Good. Now, alternatively, I'm, right now I'm sitting up nice and straight, but you can also lean over a little bit, let those arms go forwards a bit, and we're gonna do that same thing. So similar to the row, but um, we're gonna have your elbows a little bit wider this time. Awesome. So if you go grocery shopping and you're finding that often um, your grocery bags are really heavy, this is a good one to help strengthen your back and strengthen your shoulders. So it makes it a little bit easier. And so again, we're gonna breathe out as we lift. Breathe in, down. Breathing out, breathing in. Let's go for three, and two, and one more time. Awesome job, and lower it down. All right, let's shake it out. We've got one more together, one more. So, arms at your side, and what we're gonna do here is we're really gonna isolate those muscles and work just the shoulders. So we're gonna do something called a shrug. So we're gonna be shrugging, lift your elbows up, and then lower down. So your arms are completely straight. <clears throat> Taking it up and lower down. And again, up. All right, let's go for four more. Bring those shoulders up and then fully relax down. So you should feel this right around your shoulders, maybe in your upper back as well. Good job, let's go for two. And one more time. All right, amazing. So you guys have done such a great job focusing on our shoulders and our back today. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe and leave a message below. Let me know which one was your favorite exercise and uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow for my next exercises using the weights. Tomorrow we are going to be doing some functional fitness exercises. So really excited to see you then. Have a great day and stay healthy.